Well, good morning and welcome to this Pentecost Sunday. Um, it is a Sunday like no other that we've experienced probably. Um, we probably never have had a Pentecost Sunday service via Zoom. Um, and the state of the world under pandemic, uh, rioting, demonstrations throughout our nation. What a day to wake up to. But God is with us, and the Spirit of God is with us, and there is much to pray for today. Let us begin with our opening acclamation. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us together say the glory. Glory to God in the highest, highest. and peace, peace, peace to, to his, his people, people on, on earth. earth. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, Heavenly King Almighty God, God and Father, Father we, worship, we you. worship you, we give you thanks, thanks. we praise, we praise you for your glory. For our glory. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ only Son of, the Father, Son of the Father, Lord God, Lord God Lamb, of, Lamb God, of God, you take away the, sin, away of the, the world. sin of the world. Have mercy, Have mercy on, us. on us. You are seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Of the Father. Receive, Receive our prayer. prayer. For you alone are the Holy, Holy one. one. You alone are the Lord. Lord, the Lord. You alone are the, you most, are the most High, Jesus Christ, Christ with the with Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. Let us pray. O God, who on this day taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending to them the light of your Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, Acts 2, 1 through 21. When the day of Pentecost had come, the disciples were all together in one place. Suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind. It filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire ap appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. At this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all these who are speaking Galileans and how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. In our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. 
then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm today is Psalm 104. Please read responsibly by verse. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the great and wide sea, with its living things too many to number, creatures both great and small. There move the ships, and there is that Leviathan, which you have made for the sport of it. All of them look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it to them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good things. You hide your face, and they are terrified. You take away their breath and they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit and they are created. And so you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in all his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. May these words of mine please him. I will rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Hallelujah. A reading from Paul's first letter of Corinthians. No one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gift, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them and everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to other the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another the workings of miracles. To another prophecy to another the disturbance of spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually, just as the Spirit chooses. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. On that last day of the festival, a great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me. Let the one who believes in me drink, as the scripture has said. Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the spirit, which believers in him were to receive. For as yet there was no spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. I'm not going to be long today, but I do want to talk about the birthday of our church, the birthday of the whole church, the birthday of the Holy Catholic Apostolic Church. That is the birthday we celebrate on this day every year. Every year we celebrate Pentecost, that day when God poured out his Holy Spirit upon all flesh as he promised through Jesus. But it strikes me that for all of our talk about the gifts of the Spirit and how it creates and upholds and sustains the whole church, we often miss the full significance of what God has given us. We miss it because we fail in all our talk and all of our listening to ask ourselves, how has God gifted me in particular as an individual? It's not surprising. We barely have enough time to take care of our responsibilities in our own backyard, much less take on the mission of the world. Furthermore, for all of our good intentions, we sometimes 
feel helpless, unable to affect change. Where do we get the power to do this? How often we feel a little poor and a little helpless, unaware of the extraordinary power that we have available to us, that which is lying right here in our own pockets of our lives, in our own minds, in our own hearts. Each one of us here, each one of us gathered as, as a community at Grace, have our own special Pentecost, a day on which God imparted to each of us the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Indeed, it is this indwelling, this personal day of Pentecost, which we pray for as a church over every believer when we lay hands upon them and sign them with the cross, anoint their heads with oil on the day of their confirmation. What God gives us when we, what God gives us when he gives us his spirit is more than strength and support, teaching and comfort, those things which we normally identify with God's grace and God's presence. He gives us more than joy and peace, more than patience and kindness, those things which we call the fruits of the Holy Spirit. He gives us all a set of unique gifts designed for the building of the body of the church and for the individual ministries to which we are called for in our spiritual life. Peter, in his sermon on the day of Pentecost, speaks of the gifts of tongues, of languages, both angelic and human, to those assembled there, so that they would not think the disciples were drunk or mad. And Paul, who in the, in the Corinthians, lists a long list of um, gifts. Here are some of the gifts that, that he lists. The gift of teaching, discernment, the gift of exhortation, the gift of hospitality, the gift of intercession, the gift of the words of wisdom, the gifts of prophecy, the gifts of faith, the gifts of administration, the gifts of helping, and the gift of mercy. Now, each of those gifts are spiritual gifts to be distinguished from the natural talents that we are all born with. They are gifts of this, our second birth, and we can transform an apparently untalented person into someone who has a remarkable ability to minister to others. What gifts do you have? What gifts or set of gifts has God poured out upon you so that you might be able to love and serve God and your neighbor in the way that God has intended you, and especially for you. I'd like us to think about that, to try to identify within yourself what God has given to you, to use in this work in the church. It is profitable, it's a profitable exercise because it forces us to think about what God wants us to do and, and what he wants to do through us. It forces us to pray, to read the scriptures, and to think about what God has done through us in the past and where we feel he is leading us now. And when we do that, we will activate the spirit within us. We bring its power to the forefront of our lives. So the question I have for all of you today is what gifts or gift has God given you for your second birth? Amen. Let us together recite the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. Let us pray. For those for whom our prayers have been requested this past week, especially Susan C., Martha, Lisa, and their children, Rosanna, Sydney, Emma, Anne. And we celebrate their lives and ask for the peace of the repose of the souls for Emma and Andy and peace to their family. We continue to pray for the victims of violence throughout the world especially on this day that we celebrate the diversity of our world. We pray, Father, that your spirit would bring us peace. For all travelers in our parish community, for our veterans and all of our uniform services at home and abroad, especially for Evan Gardner and Daniel Thomas and all who are serving in our military around the world. We pray for all who have died of the coronavirus, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. In our Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Anglican Church of Malaysia. And in the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray, pray for the clergy and people of St. Matthew's National City, for all military chaplains and for all ministers military ministries throughout the diocese. O oh God, in our global distress, we pray earnestly to you. God, our sanctuary, gather us when separated into your presence. God, our physician, heal those who have contracted the coronavirus. God, our comforter, embrace all who mourn the dead. God, our homeland, mother of all who are quarantined. God, our friend, accompany all who are alone or afraid. God, our guardian, protect our physicians and nurses. God, our hope. Assist researchers searching for a vaccine. God, our mighty fortress, preserve our societies from devastation. God, our governor, guide the leaders of the nations towards wise policies. God of everlasting arms, in you we live and move and have our being. God, our creator, make once again a world of Sabbath rest. God, our savior, redeem the suffering world by your cross. God, our light, shine your radiant peace into our darkness. O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, give us courage to hope for better times. Help us to be vigilant and generous. Make us courageous to continue to be your hands in our community. Teach us to pray honestly and expectantly. And when our prayers seem to fail, bring us to pray again and again. For you are our help and our shield through our Savior Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Extend to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Do we have any birthdays or anniversaries to celebrate with you all? Birthdays, anniversaries, please.
unmute yourselves and let us know. <clears throat> My daughter Libby turned four on Friday. Fantastic. Oh. Happy birthday, Libby. Jay turns five on Thursday. Fantastic. Happy birthday. Lisa and Martha had an important wedding anniversary. Uh, yes. What, 14? Yes. All right. Then let us offer off these prayers with our birthday anniversary prayer. Please join me. Watch over thy servants, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their hearts may thy peace, which passeth understanding, abide all the days of their lives, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If you believe and I believe, and we together pray, the Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free and set God's people free and set God's people free the Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free if you believe and I believe and we together pray the Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free and set God's people free and set God's people free the Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free and set God's people free and set God's people free spirit does come down we'll set god's people free all things come from thee O lord and i love thine own have we given thee and now as our savior christ has taught us we're bold to pray our father who art in heaven oh. hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the Prayer of General Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Together let us pray our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Well, good morning. As uh, we wake up, as I said at the beginning, as we wake up to this world, we wake up to scenes on our news of violence and protest and burning buildings and looting and, uh, and, to, and to deaths and to 
um, a lot of posturing by, by people. And so let us pray for peace and let us continue to pray uh, this day for all who are in law enforcement and the military who have to be on the front lines and to try to maintain that peace. We pray that, that, um, that you'll calm people's minds and hearts. And we also continue, our, of course, we continued our prayers for people who are suffering from the coronavirus. I, uh, I, like I said, we have got a, a, a rough draft of a plan that we're putting together so, to, to, to reopen. Uh, frankly, there's a, a lot of restrictions. Um, and uh, as I think about the, um, our plans to open and the age of our congregation, I, I, I have questions and concerns that I need to raise with, with, with all of you. So I will uh, begin to meet with to the um, task force again. Uh, we're going to call for a meeting uh, of that task force. I'll get, get you more information on the details and time and date. Uh, that would be Martha, uh, Susan, uh, Janet, uh, myself, and Georgia, I believe. And if anybody else would like to be a part of that, please let me know. Uh, there are questions, concerns, things we have to look at, um, and uh, uh, we are still the church. We are the church here together, the people uh, of Christ, and um, we, we, uh, we're, we've never stopped being church. We've just had to do church in a different way uh, for a while. And so um, uh, a lot of the clergy are pretty divided about whether they're open. They're going to they're open on June 21st. Some are going to open later. Uh, some are going to wait um, for, for further information. But all of us are anxious to be together. That's the one thing I know that we all share. We want to be in each other's presence. We want to share the great, wonderful food <laughs> once again in our, in our, in our parish hall. And uh, oh, by the way, uh, regarding uh, the um, uh, where we are with the updates on the parish hall, I got a call from Surf Pro on Friday, and uh, Church Insurance and the contractor have agreed they'll be going back and forth for about a week this week, just on, on little minor details. They'll work it out, and so we expect that we'll begin the reconstruction uh, a week from tomorrow uh, in the parish hall, and then we'll start at the same time working on the second floor upstairs and clearing all those things out so that we can begin um, work on that. So they'll begin uh, in, a, in a week and a half. Uh, and so we'll, we'll look forward to that. Um, and that's all the announcements that I have. Is there anything that uh, anybody, anybody else would like to pass in terms of announcements? Yes, um, I have a couple announcements. Um, I, uh, she's not here today, but Janet did an amazing job collecting a bunch of food for the food bank for Donna's um, Thing. She went around her whole neighborhood and collected food from all her neighbors and had bags and bags of food for the um, food bank. Um, also, Janet and I are working on for uh, doing prayer flags for when we open and we're going to be putting together packages of flags with some scraps of material and all sorts of stuff and um, there will be an um, announcement in constant contact. Uh, if you want one, Janet and I will um, deliver them to you. You can decorate them and then bring them to church the first day that we're open. And we'll hang them up outside the, the church. And also, um, if uh, Ann Harjo's daughter called me the other day, and um, she said she was going to contact you, Father Frank, but she had a fall or something, and mm -hmm. she's going to have to have surgery for a broken bone. I've, it's all the information I have. Thank um, you but she said she would contact you as soon as she knew what the surgery was and all that stuff. Um, and that's all I have. Does anybody else have any other announcements? So Sean, I have a couple of questions and announcements. Cindy, sure. do you think Anne is still at home? Like, can we call her home number just to say hi to her? No, she's, she's in the hospital as far as I know. Um, I spoke with her yesterday. Oh, there you I go. speak with her yesterday. She is in quite a bit of discomfort, so phone calls are really not recommended at this time. Okay, um, so she's home? Yes, she is oh, at okay. home. She's waiting to hear from the doctor on Monday about um, repair for her arm. But oh. this is the same arm that she broke several years ago, so there is already a metal plate in there, and so it is going to require um, something pretty invasive. So keep her in your prayers, perhaps even send her a note in the mail, but um, I would not recommend making phone calls at this time. Okay, thank you. Um, one other thing I wanted to say between my kids screaming, 
Um, if anybody is interested, I was thinking of starting um, an anti-racism working group via text, just kind of to respond to um, like the latest police um, murder of an unarmed African American person. So Pablo and I have been struggling with um, what what to like what we can do right besides just saying this is really unfortunate. Um, so if anybody's interested in being a part of that text group, please text me, and it would just be really informal just to kind of talk about. Um, different ways of educating ourselves or like actions we can take. Um, so that's all. Lena, I, uh, St. Peter's uh, recently has been doing a, um, uh, uh, a book forum um, over the over a course of weeks and much of those recorded on their website, St. Peter's in Del Mar, and they were, they were, they were re reading as a group the book called Beyond White, or excuse me, Born White, or I think Born White. Anyways, it's on their website, and if you look under their forums, there's information there and uh, probably people that you can dialogue with as well who would be interested in being a part of that. Uh, I'm sure that that, that, that is right now um, something that they're talking about, uh, probably trying to get um, people to come back to a discussion group. So I would uh, take a look at that and see um, there's people already online uh, doing a lot of conversation about that. And I expect that some more resources might be coming forth uh, through the diocese and through the national church as well. And I'll make sure to, to look out for that stuff and pass that along to you as well. I'll okay? put it on our Facebook page, anything that I see. Thank I'll you so much. Page. Appreciate that. Well, let us go forth rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. All right.